Hit us with it, Ryan. Interest rates are through the roof and you're looking for affordable living. Where are you gonna go, Joe? You're going to Carson City. And we're getting brand new builds for under $550,000. We're covering five different developments in Carson City under 550K. Stay tuned. What's up guys, I'm Joe Hannick. I'm Ryan Chikvara. Welcome to our channel. Or welcome back to the channel. Or welcome back. Uh, we are the Living in Reno lifestyle channel. Today's gonna be an awesome one. Yeah. What are we talking about today? My hometown, Carson City. Carson City, Ryan is born and raised. We wanted to find some uh, developments and properties that are more affordable. Yeah. Right, prices are going up, interest rates are through the roof. We wanted to bring some value. Yeah, and we do obviously living in Reno, Nevada. We do everything all Northern Nevada, right? But Carson actually had some space to build and they're utilizing that currently, yeah. so. And it, it was awesome going to, to check out these developments. We're gonna talk about, um, what, one, two, three, four, four, really? yeah. five maybe. We yeah. might add a fifth at the end. Um, so stay tuned through all of these, but we wanted to stay at a price point under $550,000. Yeah. Um, Ryan and I are putting out these videos because we are licensed real estate agents in the state of Nevada. So when you guys are moving here, call us, text us, email us. Hit us, us up, we're it's the freaking us. guys. We love helping you, love all of our clients we've worked with. Um, and the first community that we're talking about. Um, Valley Knowles. Valley Knowles, it yep. is a master plan community. Um, and I say master plan because they've got what, over 500, yeah, going by, on by the there? time it's done, it's gonna be 500 units in a sense. I think it's uh, 88 condos and around, yeah, 420 homes yeah. that are going in there. So massive development, um, four different sort of sections of it, right? They've got yeah. the Ridge and uh, the Village South, right? Village South. Are, are in right now, they're currently building, yes. right? Yeah, um, and the condos that we're gonna talk about, um, the Village South, right? Yeah. They're not even condos. They're, they're three plexes, yeah. right? So you've got three units in one building, um, and then those buildings are, are throughout. You will see B-roll of that, um, but location-wise, where are we? Why so, do we love it? So we love it because it's basically just on the hill once you hit South Carson. Um, you're right on top of the hill there, and you're real close to Target, Walmart, Trader Joe's, Costco, yeah. all of it, but proximity, it's like you, you hop, hop on the road and then you're straight onto uh, 395, basically, and up into downtown Carson is 10 minutes. Exactly, right? so, so resources are super close. <laughs> because you're up on a hill, you've got views, right? Yep. A lot of the property is gonna have views. Um, close to Jack's Valley Road, yep. which is gonna take you right to Genoa. Um, so the golf courses, right? There's two golf courses out there. You're also right up, right next to Sunridge Golf yeah, Course, exactly. right? So if you're a golfer, you've got three golf courses within seven minutes of you, Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, and it is uh, being built by Genuine. Right, Which is we the love. builder. Yeah, they are an award-winning builder. We've worked with them before. We've sold homes um, or they resold good, their they, properties. They do a great job. They do a solid job. Um, so we really wanted to highlight them. And uh, the first place we're going to talk about is the Ascent. Right, it's a development well, inside. Yeah. So the Ascent is coming. Right. Yes. So that's the one that's coming next. Right now they do have the Ridge. Um, those homes are available. We did check those homes out, but um, in general, the Village is just going to be an extension of the Ridge. Um, but floor plans, everything are gonna be real similar. Right? Yeah, so. the, we wanted to highlight the ascent. Again, wanted to stay under that 550 mark yep. um, and right around there. So the ascent is gonna have seven different floor plans. Um, that's gonna be a three bedroom, two bath, uh, two car garage, about 1500 square foot. And then they're going all the way up to uh, three bedroom, two and a half bath, two car garage, about 2600 square foot. Yeah, so it's pretty similar. Uh, you know, as far as the three bed, two bath, three bed, two and a half bath. Yep. But then obviously the size of the bedrooms and then also the size of the house itself, right? Definitely. In your, in your common area and all that different stuff. You're gonna so. have single stories, two stories, um, and they're gonna start in the upper 400s, Yep. right? And then they're gonna go all the way up to the upper 500s. Um, again, that is all standard features, mm -hmm. right? You also um, have the potential to jump into their um, design studio basically exactly and the you upgrades could spend yeah we so we talked yesterday and this is going to the condos now but one of the condos they put like two hundred thousand dollars into but that was like blown out like Wild. absolutely absurd we couldn't even believe what but the, the the way the gentleman described it was like security system speakers in the walls every, i mean they they did when? probably literally oh. every upgrade yeah. that you could do more likely 
um, just for getting the nice granite countertops you want, the nice flooring that you want, somewhere around like 30K. Um, Definitely. So. And again, standard features are going to be granite countertops, luxury vinyl yeah. plank. Um, Everything standard looks great as is, in our opinion. Absolutely. Um, it's just that thing, you, you know, if you want to upgrade a little bit, you've got the ability to do so. so. Yeah. Um, and then the other one we wanted to showcase in there are these um, triplexes, right? The condos. Super sweet. The Village South. We've got some good B-roll um, of those as well. But I think it's just cool to be able to offer that package to somebody that, whether you're a first time home buyer and just looking to get in, or you're retiring and downsizing, um, these condos are, are a sweet option. Yeah, and I think as far as the condos go, one of the main differences we did want to touch on the HOA, right? So in the in the, the homes, I think we said it's what, 25, 30 bucks? 30 dollars 25, month. 30 bucks a month, and that's gonna be your typical, whatever, snow removal and maintenance of the park, Yeah. right? Yep. Um, in the condos, it's 190, it's probably going to increase as they, um, as they build and then decrease as they finish and everyone moves in, right? But um, we love the condos just because they don't feel like condos. No. It's not, a, it's not a shared stairwell and a shared common area that you walk up and you open your door and your neighbors get in their mail as well. Oh, hey, you yep. literally have your own space. It's sweet. And they've got three different floor plans in there. Um, they do have a smaller, right? Two bedroom, two bath, uh, one car garage at uh, 1279 square foot. Um, yeah, and you'll see B-roll as we talk about this as well, right? I mean, there's a garage, you pop in, it's a stairwell straight up. Yep. You walk in there. Everything on that Common floor. area, open floor plan with uh, the kitchen as well, and then master bedroom separated from your other bedroom as well, yep. right? I like the second floor plan the best. Um, it's kind of on the back side. You walk in, it's uh, first floor level is gonna be your kitchen, living room, dining area, um, right, a half bath as well. And then upstairs is gonna be um, the three bedrooms, washer and dryer, um, and they did and know, whatnot, yeah, and, and they had a little backyard yeah, as well. Yeah, and those are super cool as well, right? Because if you do have a dog or whatever, it's uh, it's a, it's super walkable as a neighborhood. Uh, we did get info on that as well, that the, the county basically made them put in wider roads, all the yeah. stuff, so they paid up All front. the utilities, everything we, Everything done. Is, is there and is in great shape, so it's gonna be super walkable. Um, not a lot of traffic coming through and stuff like that, so. Um, but in the event that you do have the pup and you don't have the time to walk them and you have a Zoom meeting coming up right and whatever, there's you do have a yard. So and I've seen, and I feel like some of those backyards are honestly bigger than some of the South Reno homes. <laughs> exactly. That, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I have friends actually. Shout out Logan. Um, his backyard's amazing, but it's smaller than these these condos. Yeah. yeah. Um, so and then the third one's sweet too. That is a uh, three bedroom, two and a half bath, two car garage. 1831 square foot um and it's sweet man I, I i just like them they're they're cool and the upgrades on some of the ones that you'll see um obviously they've done a great job but uh they did mention a lot of the times you'll see um the interior design of uh model homes are not really actually what you can get oh for sure they don't even they, give you the option it's not even possible right not everything yet. that you see in all these videos is something that they can do for you absolutely so, yeah so that yeah if you see something in a model that you love you actually can be like Give me this. that. And they'll do it. Add that, add this. Um, and then price point wise, we're starting in the upper 300s. Yep. It's crazy to say. Yeah, exactly. Upper right. threes to the mid 400s. Yeah. As far as affordability, um, or even if you're looking for uh, like a vacation home, you know, a secondary, whatever, first time home buyer, downsizing, I think it's a really cool option it's to a, add. It, it's, yeah, I, I know when we were talking yesterday as well, when we we're down there, obviously just amenities around it, great. But to Tahoe, you couldn't be closer to hopping up exactly. and just yeah, straight to Tahoe, right? So At that price point, yeah. they don't allow short-term rentals nope. as far as like Airbnb, VRBO, which is good, right? Yeah. Um, but they do allow you to rent it um, on a six-month um, contract, right? Exactly. That's the, the shortest contract they'll allow. Builder credit, you want to touch on that? Yeah. So they're doing right now, as long as it's basically a, a, a pre-build. Quick delivery. Quick delivery. Yeah. Uh, 25K, yeah. right? And so um, right now... Builders aren't dumb, right? They know it's tough for people out there as well. Eight um, percent, depending on your credit, seven and a half, whatever. Yeah. Um, they're basically just giving you that twenty-five k and, and buying the, the interest rate just, down. Yeah, buy it down, right? So exactly. Trying to get you closer to a five percent interest rate. Yeah. Um, obviously, you can use it uh, to just knock the price of the home down by twenty-five k. We personally would advise. I mean, it makes more sense to buy a rate down. Definitely. Than yeah. It does to just knock off the top, but, especially yeah. with the 30 year but, loan, but whatever. Yeah, if whatever, you have lending short up, you can use that um, for 
whatever, appliances, right? Washer, dryer, refrigerator um, that don't come included with the property. Well, and that's also, real quick, Joe, that's why you gotta use us, right? Uh, because we they know. do, we ask all the right questions, right? And there are some opportunities to, to get you the fridge, Absolutely. to get you to the washer, dryer, right? So those aren't necessarily included, but if they're coming on the quick builds and you're saying, hey, we want that as well, they might do it. Yeah, so. let us negotiate the heck um, out of everything. Yeah. That's our job, that's what we love to do to help you guys. Um, but we, I can't recommend um, Valley Knolls enough. Oh, and I think in general, it's only gonna, uh, as far as, as equity and everything, that place is- yeah. Absolutely, Yeah, it's gorgeous, yeah. So the B-roll, it's awesome, but Hit us up if uh, this is a spot you think uh, you could uh, get into. Yeah, and as far as the Carson builds, that's kind of our number one, right? Absolutely. Current build. So, yep. moving on, we're going to go to the Emerson Cottages by Paradiso. And yeah, and night and day um, from the uh, Valley Knolls. This is a tiny little community. Yeah. Um, super small, but they're all um, single family residents, right? So, yep. they're all homes. None of them are connected. There's only 37? 37 homes. 37 homes. 37 home sites in this half circle. It's a horseshoe, yeah. basically, right? Yep. And so it's built right off of, um, really close to the Walmart in Carson. So there's a Walmart in South Carson that's almost into Douglas Minden um, area. This one's uh, by College Parkway yep. over on the east side of Carson. Um, and yeah, super small community. They do have four different floor plans. Yeah. We walk through all of them. Um, they are sweet. I like. It's cool. Know, they are cool. It's cool. Again, if you are a first time home buyer, or downsizing, whatever it may be, I think this is also very practical for you. Yeah. Price point starting at 370 um, and going up to 450,000. Yeah, and so the small one is a two bed, or yeah, two bed, one bath, 900 square feet, so. Tiny little it's, thing. It's, yeah, it's the one that's being built on the corner you're looking at and you're like, oh, that's, you know, but you do have yeah. your own yard. So if you're comparing yeah. the condo versus that, you, that's yours. Right? Value that's, wise, yeah, yeah, exactly. So. Uh, and then they go all the way up to three bedroom, two bath. Two car. And that's a 1500 square yeah, foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. And the uh, all of the, even if it's a two car garage, it's it's uh, not right next to each other, right? It's no. tandem, so yeah. it's a skinny long garage. Um, and some of them almost look like three cars. Like yeah. that's how long it is, right? Definitely. But just do keep that in mind that you're, yeah, whoever's leaving, you're gonna you're gonna have to do that. Whoever leaves first for work, uh, that's the car that's gotta be on the back. Absolutely. And Ryan and I were like, there's no way you could fit like a, a full size SUV or truck. The guy at the sales office said he, he fit his Silverado in there. Yep, didn't um, even have to put the mirrors in. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It was so, tight, but. Shout out to him. Um, but standard features there are also gonna be, right, your granite, um, vinyl plank flooring, uh, nine foot ceilings, yeah. things like that. Nothing special, standard, the work, the quality, I mean, everything looked good it, in my opinion. It did look really good. I, I will say that um, on some of the, I guess two of the floor plans that we did see, it's you, you basically walk in and you're straight into living room and kitchen. So it's an open floor plan. It's a little tight. Definitely. Not, not gonna lie. Yeah, uh, you're, it's, it's odd. Yeah, your kitchen is, you know, as soon as you get a couch in there and a table in there, I mean, be it's, tight. Yeah. it's tight. You're, so. you're be put, you'll be putting small furniture. But once again, that's the price point, right? Exactly. For brand new bill. Under $450,000. Um, also offering a builder credit of 25,000. Um, they did state they really don't want you to take that off the purchase price because they um, want the appraised values to stay at that point. But uh, interest rate buy down or any upgrades, things of that nature, um, 25K. That, so you're taking 25K off of 370, you know, yeah. or, or 400. Yeah, I think he said they've seen interest rates once they bought the rate down as low as what, 475? Something like even? that. Yeah. yeah. So, so not terrible. An HOA of 105 in there. A little steep in my opinion I think I want to say that they That's, you know there's there's no backyard landscaping the front is zero scape so I'm you know I I just there's, just, there's no nothing removal, there there's nothing there's, there's nothing that you're really paying for there I don't and think the, that, the downside you are right on the freeway yeah you have a, a row of homes that are backed up to the freeway um, we will say when we were in there inside the home couldn't hear the the road noise whatsoever even out back i mean it's it's super minimal right yeah. there's the retaining wall that's there so yeah you're, you're not hearing definitely much, but, but when there. you're outside barbecuing or whatever you'll hear yeah some some road noise yeah so. absolutely um keep it moving jumping on uh right next to carson high school yeah two right. developments yeah. that are right there uh, we've got lennar and Ryder Homes, yeah. they basically took one big development, split it right down the middle. Ryder said, we'll take the ones on the left. Lennar, you grab the ones on the right. 
Um, and we'll meet in the middle. Yeah, and that's uh, it's it's just funny growing up in Carson. So much has changed since I've, I've been gone. Whatever ten that plus years now. Used to be a field. Yeah, that's what we say. <laughs> yeah, we're driving by. This used to be we. I'd go to the high school and you know there there are the cows in the field, and now it's a now it's a home development. So, yeah. Um, it's going to be massive. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's going to be a lot of homes. So yeah. they're already building quite a bit. Um, on the left is Ryder. That's the cross Creek development. Yep. Um, these prices are going to be a little bit higher, but cross Creek starts at 505,000 jumps all the way up to 615, but they have four different floor plans under 550. Yeah. And it's great. And as far as, you know, we said, we're trying to keep this as a lower sort of price point video, but for 505, I mean, you're starting and it's a 3-2, but it's almost 1,800 square feet, Big. right? So, it, it, yeah. it is brand new, two-car garage, and then you're jumping all the way up to a four-bedroom, three-and-a-half bath at uh, 2,870 square foot. Yeah. And that's, so you get a lot of home. Exactly. Um, moving on to Mills then, Mills Meadow there, it's 537 is the low point, 655, so even more pricey than the Ryder area out there. But these homes, I mean, the smallest one is a 4-2, um, 1,953 square yeah, feet, so almost 2,000 square yeah. feet. And then a four, three and a half bath, four bed, three and a half bath, and that one's over 3,000 square feet. Yeah. Right? So, a uh, small HOA fee there, again, just commons area parks, uh, but proximity is great right next to the high school. Um, so, I think add that to the list too. Yeah. If you're no, as far as resale goes and a, a de development, I mean, I don't think Carson has seen a more centralized um, large de in yeah. 10 years. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's nothing like it. So. Absolutely. Um, they do have quick builds available as well. Um, as far as builder incentives, um, I know that there's a purchase price we can, we can finagle. Yeah, well, we can figure something out there. Absolutely. Um, and then the last one, right? Number five, we kind of wanted to touch on this one. I've always loved this style of homes, or these style of homes, just because they re remind me of like San Francisco, right? Yeah. The Bay, being on for the me, ocean. Yeah, for me, it's like Long Beach or something. Like when you're down and you're walking to the beach and you're going past those three-story beach houses, basically. Yeah. Um, it's the Little Lane Homes um, by Bates Homes is the builder. Yep. They do a fantastic job. I it, mean, it's the 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 interior of them. It's it's awesome. Definitely. Right? So and not the most. Um, we wanted to put these guys at the very end just because they're a little bit more expensive or can be. Yeah. Right? They're starting at $499. Five, yeah, 500 basically. Yep. Yeah. They've got four different floor plans, um, two under 550 and then they jump up to 620 um, And then we've got some B-roll of one of the model homes You'll, that is... Well, and also the B-roll of us driving down the street, right? And the way that they did it is so cool that you have... Um, depending on what street you live on, you have basically a front door that if you had company over, you'd say, yeah, park in front of the house on the street, right? You've yep. got a front door, but really the other side of the street, when you go Your behind alley. is it's like an alley, but it's really just the road and everyone sweet. parks on that. That's it, where your two car you pull in from the backside. Yeah. So it's super, the way that they did them is super cool. You walk in and you're basically into, um, sort of a, the one we looked at was a, almost an in-law suite or, yeah. um, like a next generational yeah, yeah. quarter there. And then you go up and then you've got sort of uh, living room, dining room, kitchen, kitchen yeah. all that open. And then the third story. With a balcony. Yes, which the, ba yeah. I which mean, is it's, sweet. They're yeah. super sweet. And then upstairs, yeah, had all the bedrooms. Bedroom. So if you're not about stairs, these might not be for you, but if you don't mind the exercise, yeah, I they're, they're awesome. It's sweet. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess we'll leave it at that. They've got quite a few. Um, homes to build. They have quick uh, builds or quick deliveries available right now as well. Yeah, I want to say really they have just like the one street done and they've got four streets yeah. uh, to the north to go. So. Yep, yep, yep. Um, they're, they're just cool. Yeah. But again, if you're not into stairs, don't not, even think yeah, about Little Lane. Yeah, yeah, you'd be hitting three stories yeah. on top of them. You're taking stairs literally every day to do anything. So. Yep. Uh, we'll Flippin' A, there we have it. I yeah. think we did a, a good job there. Yeah, I mean, that's just more info on Carson City. We know a lot of people are reaching out. If this is your first time to the channel, we've got tons of videos, right? They're and, everywhere. And so. like and subscribe. Um, and if you have any questions, drop it in the comments. Yep. Call, text, email. It's us on the other end, so until the waiting. next one. We're waiting for you. Stay tuned.